to another announcement video for NLS. We are excited to bring you guys some announcements today and play a game. Today I have our hosts, Jessica, Caroline, and Samantha. All right, so we are getting ready to play a game called, what is this game called, Caroline and Samantha? The Detective Detector. No, it's the detective, <laughs> it's the detector of the detectives who's working to figure out what's the lie is the, the detective, the detectiveness, She's detector. Wrong. Right. So each of us here is going to have a statement in an envelope. This statement is either a truth or a lie. One of us is going to open our statement and read it while the other two are going to be interrogating us to see whether it's a truth or whether it's a lie. That is why it is the detector of the detective, of the liar and the liar of the detecting the detector. So let's get started. Caroline, would you like to read your statement first? No. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Why don't you do it? All right. We know who's running the show here. <laughs> All right. My statement is, I once had nine hamsters at one time. What were their names? Uh, I don't know if I can remember all their names, but uh, there was Bernadette. There was, um, gosh, this was a long time ago. How old were you? I was... 18. Uh, how was that long ago? You're young. I am young, guys, <laughs> but I was a lot younger then. <laughs> um, there was a lot of them, so uh, I had different names for each of them, but I remember there was like Bernadette, um, and so that's the only one I could remember. Why did you have nine hamsters? Uh, because I bought one hamster, and then I brought it home, and it gave birth to eight more. Oh. Were you in college and was it in a dormitory thingy? No, I was still living at home because Why? I still live at home. <laughs> I feel bad for you. I wouldn't be able to do that. Have nine hamsters? <laughs> or live at home. <laughs> Are we bad at this? I don't know. You haven't guessed yet. <laughs> do you think that this is the truth? Or do you think it's a lie? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta guess, Samantha. That's the point of the detector of the detectiveness. Or the lie or the not detector detective. <laughs> okay, you're wasting time. Is it a truth or is it a lie? I think it's a truth. I think it's a truth, too, but I don't know. <laughs> it's a truth! I hey! did actually have a lot of hamsters at one time. Samantha, would you like to go next? Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, actually. <laughs> Why time my parents left me at a funeral? Uh, how old were you when they left you at a funeral? Eight. Whose funeral was it and was I there? It was my grandma's and no. What were you feeling when you were left alone at the funeral? Well, I was like confused when they went because like, what? Everyone, like all of my people that I don't know, it's like a bunch of people I don't know. Like, because I have a lot of family, <laughs> like from both sides <laughs> anyways. But like then like they were talking and then they just like, there's a lot of kids, so they left me. <laughs> Cause like, I'm the quiet one I think, I think. What happened when your parents remembered that they forgot you at the funeral? Well, they came back. How long were you there for? Um, I think it was like 30 minutes, I don't exactly remember. I think I know, are you ready? Yeah, <laughs> your guess. Uh, I think it's the truth. I think it's a lie. It's a lie! Oh! I could definitely have known that. Samantha her. has good parents. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Don't leave your kids at funerals. Okay. That'd be sad. You'd be with all dead people. That's not how funerals work. <laughs> Smith, it's not just a bunch of dead people. <laughs> Caroline, what's your? I've never been to a funeral. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Okay, I have taken a horseback riding lesson with a gift certificate my grandparents gave me at Christmas when I was six. Wait, you went horseback riding with a gift certificate that your parents, oh wait, the gift certificate allowed you to go horseback riding or you took the gift certificate with you when you went horseback riding? I got a gift certificate that got me a free horseback riding lesson. Cool, how old were you? Six. It says that in the thing. What, why did you get it? Do you, I got it for Christmas. What did the horse smell like? I don't know, I was six. <laughs> what was the horse's name? It was like, um, Buttercup or something. What was your grandparents' name? Gaming and Gramps. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Um, I know it. I know her life face. What color was it? It's a lie. I think because it, well, it, it was named Buttercup, it's probably like a tan color. I uh, think it's a lie. I think it's a lie too. It was a lie. I know her life face. Called it. You just called Caroline a lie face. <laughs> <laughs> she has her lie face on. What's her lie she, face? Because she like. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like, um, like buttercup. 
<laughs> and that looks like a lie. <laughs> So I definitely lost. I only got one right and you guys both got both of the questions right. Uh, so I lost, they won, so congratulations guys. So that's the game and here's some announcements. We're doing our first ever NLS Spring Retreat next weekend. You only have two, not six. That was the amount of fingers I probably just showed you. I don't know. More days to sign up, so sign up. We're going to be eating spectacular, awesome, super good food. Playing tons of fun games. <coughs> Going to get air trampoline park. <laughs> Staying in host homes. Around Trinity. With all of your friends. And there are a few other surprises, so don't miss them. Don't miss the chance to grow deeper in your faith while having a ton of fun with your friends. <laughs> middle schoolers, this summer, the middle school summit is back. It will be in Orlando, and we're going to be doing so many great things. <laughs> Not being sarcastic though. There will be games, adventures, worship, teaching, and fun with hundreds of other middle schoolers from all over. All over. Get excited and keep an ear out for more info because it's coming in June. Cut! <laughs> High schoolers, we have also got a summit for you guys <laughs> this summer. <laughs> With all the same awesome things to look forward to. It's gonna be in Jacksonville and it's happening near the end of July. So keep an ear out for more information coming soon. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking time to listen to these announcements. Please check out the screen as we transition into the next part of our service. <laughs> other middle schoolers actually not just hundreds because that wouldn't make sense it would be like a bird with hundreds of birds but instead it's middle schoolers <laughs> anyways, anyways it's like when i saw a lady dropping bread on the sidewalk when there's no birds there it was like no birds ever came <laughs> yeah excited and keep an ear out for more info in june <laughs>